I'm Emily Samanskis, back at Millette Hall. Point guard Lauren Dickerson loves her job. She takes play calling seriously, and she's pretty darn good at it. And Dickerson is no stranger to adversity. Her junior year of high school prepared her to lead the Red Hawks through the highs and lows of last season. There are many moments junior guard Lauren Dickerson remembers well. Playing basketball against her cousins in her grandmother's backyard, going to the park with her dad to learn how to outplay bigger opponents, and coming to Miami to eventually be named Mid-American Conference Freshman of the Year all stand out. But four years ago, Dickerson tore her ACL, and she remembers it oh so well. It's almost the worst injury you can have being an athlete, and I remember hearing the doctor say you tore your ACL, and it was just like, like literally like the movies, like it was just like slow motion. I would just, I started crying. Her injury slowed recruitment letters and college interest, but it didn't slow Dickerson down. Uh, it was definitely a mental battle that I had to overcome. A lot more lessons came with it with basketball too. Like I had to learn how to talk, use my voice. I couldn't always just do things. So I had to learn different lessons besides just dribbling and shooting. And Miami saw Dickerson for the fighter she was and still is. They, they showed their face a lot when I was down and out, when people looked away from me, so that sh I respected that a lot. Now everyone's looking at Dickerson. She finished last year averaging 19.6 points per game. She reached the 1,000 point mark faster than any other player in program history. And she ran Miami's offense all the way to the MAC tournament semifinals in Cleveland. The Red Hawks lost by three to Central Michigan, the eventual tournament champions. But Dickerson is using that loss to learn. And we got a lot stronger from that mentally, physically. We wanted it more. I mean, now looking back, like, we know what we have to do to get there, and we know what we have to do to finish, because at the end of the day, we got to finish through with what we start, and I think, I think we're ready. The Red Hawks are ready to play their way back to Cleveland, and Dickerson, she's ready to make more memories. Emily Samanskis for ESPN Plus.